Hello, uh, my name is Evan Johnston. I'm working here at ESO as a fellow uh, with Judy's up here at Paranal at VLT. Um, currently, my research is looking at the um, evolution of galaxies, specifically trying to understand the formation of lenticular galaxies. So, lenticular galaxies um, are very, very plain galaxies. They look a bit like flying saucers. So, you've got a plain featureless disk with a sphere in the middle, and there's a uh, there's no features in them, there's no pretty spiral arms like you see in a lot of publicity photos. So the idea is that these galaxies form, or these galaxies transform from spiral galaxies when the star formation shuts off, and the spiral arms, which are the home of the star formation, they fade, leaving this featureless galaxy. Um, so my research is trying to understand that, what happens to the star formation, why does it shut off, um, is the gas stripped out of the galaxy by passing galaxies or by interactions with, cluster, me, with clusters? Um, or does, does it just run out of gas naturally? Is it used up all its fuel and the galaxy slowly dies away? Um, so that's my research. Um, and at the moment I'm hoping to use uh, MUSE data. We've got MUSE behind me here. So MUSE is an IFU instrument. So we can take both imaging and spectroscopic data at the same time. So with this instrument, I'm hoping to understand um, exactly what's happening throughout the entire galaxy. Is the star formation shut off over the entire galaxy together? Um, or does it happen from the outside in or the inside out? And with spe the combined spectral and uh, imaging information from MUSE, we can hopefully understand this better. Um, so my duties tonight um, are working with the um, working with UT4. So I'm doing service mode observations for Hawkeye, for Symphony, and for Muse. Um, at the moment, we're working with Hawkeye, so we're taking um, images of galaxy or of star clusters um, in the infrared. The job's quite interesting with the service mode observations. Uh, we can observe loads of different things throughout the night. Uh, so we can observe stars. We can observe galaxies. With can observe galaxy uh, lenses, um, moving objects like asteroids and satellites. Um, every night is very different um, and it's quite interesting to see all the different science that's being achieved each night with these telescopes.